everyone, welcome back to another Decorate With Me. Today I am decorating my coffee bar area for the 4th of July and I absolutely love, love, love how it turned out this year. I love the colors and I did a lot of painting on some items I picked up from Hobby Lobby so that it would all look very cohesive and match really well. But without further ado, let's jump into the Decorate With Me. Okay, to start with, I got this Hobby Lobby sign that I picked up recently. It actually came in a bright red color, but I chose to paint over the stripes with this really pretty burnt red acrylic paint that I got from Hobby Lobby. And I also went ahead and sat it up on a little black stand like you can see here. It's because I wanted to layer it. So I found this Ray Dunn sign at a random decor store. So it was priced up a little bit, but not too bad. I think I spent about 30 on this sign, but I just thought it was so pretty, the established 1776. And since I had originally just planned to put the flag sign on the top, I thought if I propped up the flag sign and layered it with this one, it would look cute. So next, I found this really pretty garland from Target. Now the red stars were a little bit brighter, but I went through with the acrylic paint again and I just made them the same red color so that it would look really good and match really well. And these calendar blocks are actually from Hobby Lobby. I love to use these for every season. This little calendar block fits right into these little cubbies too. Next, I'm also showing you these USA plates. I painted the red USA a darker red with the same paint that I've been using, and I thought they would look cute displayed on each side here on my shelf. Also, I picked up these four cups. They're so cute. I love the neutral colors. They're not too bright. And then I also like the rounded bottom. So because they have this rounded bottom, you can stack them up if you would like to, to display them that way. I went ahead and put one on each side of the top here, and then I'm later going to be using them below that you will see. Next, I got this Home Sweet Home sign from Hobby Lobby, and I did go through with the same paint and just kind of scribbled it on top of that red because it looked a little less deep. And then I went ahead and just put the other two cups that I showed you right on these hooks in front of it. Next, I got this towel from Hobby Lobby and I painted the stars. <laughs> I decided I was going to paint it because I didn't plan on actually using the towel as an actual hand towel. I'm just only using it for decoration purposes. And then I also painted this little gnome's hat. You can tell the red in the back matches because it was a brighter red. And I think he looks so cute. Also, I put this God Bless the USA sign that I picked up from Hobby Lobby on this little black stand, which is also from Hobby Lobby. So I picked up these little rolling pins. I painted the red here. As you can see, it's the same deep red. And then I just propped them inside of this sweet canister from Ray Dunn. Also, look how good my truck turned out. It's not perfect, but the red just looks so cute. And once I put it down here, you'll see how perfectly the colors all mesh together. I also added in this beaded garland. I added one to the bottom as well. I just like the added color and texture that it adds. I also love this sign from Hobby Lobby. The quote is so pretty. The font is really nice. I thought these little ceramic houses would be perfect to add so you'll be seeing me adding another one and I got the little houses from Hobby Lobby and then I took my other matching sign from Hobby Lobby and just hung it on the little stand And 
then here you can see I didn't paint all the stripes. I didn't feel the need to because I was only going to show the two stripes here. But I did paint them and I just hung it on my little cabinet which I think looks so cute. I don't have any Ray Dunn patriotic cups but I did have peace which I thought went really well with the 4th of July theme. everything for my 4th of July decorate with me. If you guys made it this far, please drop a flag emoji down below so I know that you stuck around. Also, let me know in the comments below what videos you love most from me. Do you like decorate with me's, DIYs, cleaning? I would just love to hear your input, so definitely leave that down below. And I hope that you guys found some ideas for decorating for the 4th of July this year. I absolutely love to decorate for every season. And the 4th of July is one of my favorites. I love the summertime, so this was so fun for me to put together. Thank you guys so much for watching, and have a wonderful and blessed day.